Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Inclement Emerald. It's your favorite YouTuber, Gypsy here. I'm just kidding, I have no preconceptions that I'm anybody's favorite YouTuber at this moment. But um, actually that leads me into a good question of the day to kind of start off this video. Uh, and that is, uh, who was the first YouTuber that you subscribed to or started watching regularly? Uh, or Poketuber. Um, I myself, I can't remember the first YouTuber I started watching. Um, I think it was something probably about, like, mm, cigars or something. Um, but I do remember the first Poketuber that I subscribed to was Patters, actually. Uh, it just kind of appeared on my channel one day, and I started watching. Uh, but we just got to Mallville in the last episode, uh, so we have a bit of exploration to do. First things first, I'll grab this item here. An X speed again, something now never used really. I don't like the X items. Um, and then let's just talk to everybody. Ooh, a scientist, rock smash guy. But I find that degrading. Okay, maybe the rock smash dude. Okay, yeah. Well, cool. Uh, oh, okay. So we just get rock smash. Cool. I'm glad I decided to come in here. Nice, rock smash. Yes, I know what it does. Thank you. Ah, uh, just one Pokemon game where I'm not pandered to would be nice. Have, wait, what? Have you been checking out TVs? No, should I? I take that as uh, meaning that I should, probably. An Ice Stone at the Pokemon Mart. Okay, so maybe we need to bring her an Ice Stone. Uh, if you've got any Pokemon from a professor, I can teach them special moves. Okay. Oh, these are just... What? Hold on, now. Hydro Cannon. Is this better than, uh... Is this better than what I have here? Sparkling Aria 100-100. 150 Okay, but... We can't move the next turn. Hmm... I'm gonna stick with what I have for now, uh, but it's good to keep this guy in mind for the future, for sure. Okay. Uh, let's go into the mart and see if we have a secondary mart here. We do, okay, what do you have for me? Upgrade, metal powder. That's a new thing, I think. Leak, light ball, deep sea tooth, metal coat. Okay, so these are all the evolution items. Uh, or more evolution items, I suppose. Really, really good to know. Um, okay, cool. Talk to these guys. So I want to take today's episode a bit slower. Um, we've had quite a few big, big battles in the past couple of episodes. And I just need to decompress a little bit. Um, maybe I should have done some Wi-Fi battles to get back in the mood, uh, of thinking very strategically before I started this, but you know what? It's okay. A reading of the nickname Scaragool. Okay. An appealing nickname that should be... <laughs> okay, cool. I'm glad you like my nickname. It was, uh... Yeah, it was, it was, it just came off the top of my head. I don't know why I chose it, but... I'm glad someone appreciates it! So, I checked that TV, didn't get anything special. Yes, good to know. Just make sure I talk to everybody, you know? Why not? Uh, yeah, I might... Uh, that's the weirdest thing. Oh, a TM! 74, okay, what is this? Are you gonna tell me what this is, or do I have to look? Gyro Ball. Okay, interesting. I don't really have a physical attacker, but I do have a lot of slow Pokemon, so maybe, maybe. Okay. <sighs> Come on. No, Lola. No! Okay, so now we're gonna head over this way. Uh, and as you can see on the layout, I did just switch and put Surprise on the team. Uh, because I do want to get some levels on him. I think having a Zorark on the team uh, will be really, really helpful. And I know I say that weird, Zoroark is its name. Uh, I don't know why I, I say Zoroark. Um, but that's the way I've said it ever since the Pokemon came out, so it is what it is. 
All right, so we are not gonna do double battles if we can help it at all. We have a Diggers Bee. Okay, it's a good thing I led with Bodum. This lead super effective. That's the way to do it. This thing has huge power, though. I'm pretty sure. It normally has huge, huge power, at least. They may have given him a, a secondary ability, but I doubt it. Why would you want anything except for huge powder? Huge powder. Ah, <sighs> huge power. Maybe I need to do, like, vocal warm-ups or something before I do this. Maybe that would mean I make less mistakes. I don't know, though. <laughs> Surprise to level 30! Hell yeah. Okay. So there's an item in this game called the Training Band that if you give it to one of your Pokemon that is, I think it's like at least five levels lower than your highest level, it earns five times the amount of experience uh, from battles. Uh, and I guess that translates also to like the experience it gains um, when it, it, it's just, you know, getting passive experience or using an experience share type system. Uh, and it is broken. I did a little grinding off cam and I gave the training band to uh, I think it was my Baneri, uh, which was level 9 at the time And I think I did one battle and it shot up to level 19 or 20 uh, <laughs> So yeah, uh, definitely a broken item and I really appreciate them giving that to you as a way to kind of like mitigate some of the um, grinding because grinding can be Really frustrating, to say the least. Protect. Okay, that is a that is a move I really need. Um, I really need it to be able to like scout out certain Pokemon. What? What the hell? Why did I fall asleep? Did I get yawned? And I just didn't. Oh yeah, I think I did get yawned. That is unfortunate. Okay, so Laron is gonna have. Well, we can stay and see how much it does. Laron doesn't have the best attack. Okay. Yikes. Go into Jack here. Definitely don't want to be putting up any unnecessary risk. Uh, and we can hit four times effective here. So, And we should outspeed it. Oh yeah, I taught uh, Crab Hammer as well. At least they upped the accuracy of Crab Hammer in this. At least it's viable now. Living dangerously! But we get through that battle. Awesome. Good, good, good. Yes, another evolution to add to the three in the last episode. We're just evolving everybody here, ladies and gentlemen. Love to see it. Zoroark! Hell yeah. And I gotta I gotta admit, um, when I do have a Zorua on the team, I very rarely am able to evolve it. Um, they they're just so squishy. But I do have a Zorork now, and I'm very happy about that. Flow F. Okay. Interesting. So this is a very type. We need to get out of here. We can't be running that risk. Yikes. We have a fairy type weakness, it would appear. Um. Hmm. Binge is really the only one that can logically go in against fairies at the moment, so we need to sort that out. Uh, of course having, you know... Eh, just go Sparkling Arya. Of course having Skuntank on the team would have provided that. And kind of... Kind of upset I took him off the team at the moment, but... Sometimes it do be that way. Goodbye. So we do have some doubled up typings on the team right now, and I would really like to mitigate that uh, as much as possible. Um, so I am going to be switching the team up, maybe not in today's episode, but uh, relatively soon here, uh, just to try to get a better team composition. Because I didn't feel very confident in our last rival battle, and I feel like team composition uh, kind of pigeonholed me in a lot of situations, uh, as it as it should, really. Um, but I definitely need to try to find some Pokemon that have 
better type matchups with the kind of core team members. Um, and I think right now the core team is going to consist of Jojo, Binge. Uh, those are really the only two that I'm absolutely set on. Uh, I'm open to considering other things for the rest of the team. Um, of course, trying to maintain a Firewater Grass score is going to be important as well. Uh, I'm not super, super happy with any of the fire types I have at the moment, though. Um, I might need to consider maybe training up the Oracorio, because um, it is half fire as it stands right now. Uh, and I think it's like level 34 that it gets its signature move. Actually, let me get, let me run back to the Pokemon Center real quick, and I'm going to grab Oracorio and just try to train up some levels on it. Alright, we have Oracorio, and now you're going to get to really see the power of the training band. Seriously. Because let me just get into a battle here. And it should grow quite a few levels just from the get-go. Guitarist Dalton, what do you have for me? Noivern! You have a Noivern of your own! That's terrifying. Uh, luckily, Jack should just be able to bop you. Should live this. Yeah, okay, cool. And bop. Four times effective, no chance. Goodbye. Haha, <laughs> that sprite looks so cool though. I love the sprite work in this game. So nice. Moa up to 19. Moa up to 20. <laughs> See? 21, there we go, this training band's a monster. <laughs> Are you gonna give me any equipment? No, you're just gonna battle me. That's unfortunate, I could've used a better rod. Oh god, Gyarados, yikes. Okay, um, well that's, that's not a good way to start. Uh, okay, <laughs> into Jojo it is then, goodness. Now, I wonder, did they actually change Gyarados' typing? Is he going to be a water dragon in this game? If so, that could get really dicey really quickly. Uh, let's go with a shockwave, oh no. Okay, let's hope this one shot. And it did, okay, good. Uh, that could have been really bad. Why didn't I think that he had Ice Fang? I don't know, I need to turn on the brain here. Come on. Mow up to 23, good. So I think at level like 34 it learns it's really good move that kind of imitates the typing of the the bird because you can change its typing. Uh, we're not gonna learn double slap. You are definitely not a physical attacker. Chincha comes out, okay. Interesting. Uh, so Bodum should be able to handle this pretty well. I love Chinchow. Oh, it goes for a signal beam. Okay, I think I'm part bug though, so... It's still super effective. That's surprising. And it outspeeds me?! Why is my Lorenta so slow? I feel like it should be much faster. I feel like bugs should be relatively fast for the most part, right? But it would not appear that way. Okay. We win! Alright guys, so here we are, and we have another encounter to grab right here. Um, question is, I think I'm going to save this one. I think I'm going to save it because I don't really want to fish with the old rod. I just don't trust the encounters with it. Uh, so we're going to walk over here instead and try to get some encounters over here. Uh, now I'm going to try to avoid these trainers because I don't think fighting them right now is the best of ideas. Because I don't want... I, I, I have to be approaching the level cap, basically. Um... But let's see if we can get a static on this route. So we have an opportunity for a static anytime we pick berries, of course. Oh, like this. Please be something I don't already have. A Munchlax would be great. Crabrawler again. Man, this thing is so prevalent. I don't need another Crabrawler. <sighs> I have the big Crabrawler right here. Um, so yeah, that's not helpful. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to run, though. So maybe give Goliath? Ooh, yeah, it goes for the reversal. I'm glad I didn't try to attack him. And we'll just run. Unfortunate. I really would like to see a Munchlax. Pick the lychee berries. Cool. And... The beery berries! These are different, but it's the same tree. Weird. Okay. Another chance, perhaps? Apom! 
Okay, we don't have an Apom. I'll, I'll catch this. Yeah, Ambipom could be really good. Uh, cool. Yeah, absolutely. I'll take this. Uh, how do I damage it without killing it, though? That's the question. Go to JoJo and get the paralysis on it, at least. Screech. Cool. So I don't think we're going to actually take on the gym in today's episode, uh, just because, like I said at the beginning, I kind of need a decompression episode. Uh, so we might try to take on this route here and, uh, and maybe not kill this thing, maybe, hopefully. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, perfect. Okay, good. I'm glad I went with power gym there. Man. Yikes. Okay, that got a little scary after I clicked the button. But yeah, I don't think we're going to take on the gym in today's episode. It's just a lot of intense battles back to back to back, and that's a good thing. Uh, I will also say that I saw uh, that the creator of this game actually has a ton more hacks. He's got one for X that I saw. I think it said that he had a Gen 4 one as well. Uh, so, uh, the future of this channel might be me just playing through this hacker's games. I'm really, really enjoying this one. And if his other ones are anything like this, could be a really, really cool experience. Uh, so hopefully, I'll be able to do that in the future. Now, Apom. What do we want to name this Apom? So, um, I actually have a subscriber that wants a Pokemon. He, he didn't specify which Pokemon, so I'm just going to go with this one. And we're going to name this Apom Hot Pockets. So thank you for your subscription. I really appreciate it. Here is Hot Pocket the Apom. And our regular encounter for this route is a... Come on, be good. Be good. Be good. Be... Hmm. Deerling. Not what I was hoping for, I'm not going to lie. Bop. Cool. Good thing. Uh, so we have Deerling. Bambi for this. I know it's not the most original thing for a deer Pokemon, but we're going with Bambi. Why not? And do we have one more enc encounter to the north? Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run down here real quick. Oh, it's not down there. Down here and uh, check the trees that I planted in the last episode. See if they are ready. They are. Perfect. So let's try to get our static encounter here. Why don't we? Please. Please! No, 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 not Crabrawler. This must be like the most common, uh, the most common encounter for the trees. It has to be. Um, yes, I'll definitely take all the Oran Berries because they are highly useful in this game. Um, a Pokemon was feeding. Let's go, let's go. Give me something good. Burmy, God, I already have this. Ah, oh, this is a dupe as well. That's right, I had the Burmy at the beginning. I couldn't remember which run that was, but it was apparently this one, so cool. And let's just go ahead and check this tree. Nothing. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Okay. So I'm going to plant more berries here and hope that tomorrow, when I check this, we get a random encounter that we don't already have. All right, let's venture north now. Ooh, a little hiccup there. At least it wasn't a squeaky one. Let's go up here and see if we have an encounter waiting for us on Route 111. We may be blocked off here, I can't remember. Uh, ooh, what the hell? Let's try to sneak our way up here. And, oh. Blob. Stop goofing around and get back here. She named her Chansey Blob. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, Blob, wait, stop! Oh, that's just great. Ah, oh, trainer. Did you see that? My chances escaped. Please, you've got to help me get it back. I'll make it worth your while. If you can bring Blob back to me, I'll get all the nurses to give you an extra dose when they refill your poke vial. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, uh, got a heal ball for Blob. Good. Um, I don't know if we can get through this. Um, oh, so I gotta have a heal ball. Okay, it's a rugged rock, but a Pokemon may be able to smash it. Maybe, maybe. Again, I don't really want to, don't really want to risk using the old rod right now. Uh, let's let's do some battles here and kind of clear this out. Let's see. I definitely don't want to take on the Windstrike family. They scare me in a normal playthrough of Emerald. So 
We're just gonna go with these trainers right here. Kindler. I'm gonna assume you have fire types, and you do. Okay. So Jack is not gonna be the best lead here. Hmm. We'll go with Goliath, because... Well, I don't know why I didn't just go with Binge. Uh, man, oh man, if I lose someone today, I can only blame myself for being stupid. Um, and we get burned. Cool. Uh, it's a good thing we're a special attacker, though, huh? Dragon Breath. Probably won't kill, but... Oh, it actually did. Okay, it was a crit, though. I think that crit mattered. Should've healed JoJo up. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Okay. Yikes. Holy shit. That was lucky. Ugh. That was that was a dumb move. I keep forgetting Ampharos' dragon. I keep forgetting, and then I always move into, like, a, a dragon move or an ice move or a fairy move. Ah, I gotta stop doing that. Ugh. We are slow. We gotta get some speed on this team. We don't have much speed. Uh, and I think that's gonna start to matter. So this is gonna take a while. Yep. But maybe we can get the... the, uh, Berserk boost. Maybe. Especially if we hit ourselves a bunch. But nope. More disarming voices. You, sir... It's actually really smart that a Kindler or a Fire-type user would have at least one Water-type in case something got out of hand, right? Yeah. I mean, what if he started a forest fire? He would need some way to put it out, right? So I really appreciate the uh, line of thinking there. Good on you, Buffles Out. That's the creator, if uh, I haven't already mentioned it at some point in this playthrough. And Teeter Dance. Cool. Moa might actually be useful later on. We'll have to, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. Get an elixir. I feel like that's not the first time that it's been an elixir as the reward for taking on a possible double battle. Hmm. I'm starting to question if double battling is even worth it. Which, I don't know why, because I haven't really done many of them anyways. I always skirt around them like a weenie. But you gotta do what you gotta do. It's a difficulty hack. And Pumpkaboo goes down. Oh, Jack is so good. I think the level cap may be 38 here, guys. I haven't really paid that much attention, but I think it may be 38. Hyper Fang, you miss, you fool. Goodbye. We're not even gonna need the attack boost. It doesn't even matter. Well, up to 27, nice. Uh, so Moa will probably actually wind up changing the nature of. I'm pretty sure it is a down in special attack nature at the moment. Which is definitely not what you want. Um, go ahead and fight these guys too, why not? I'm actually getting kind of excited to use Moa. I've never done it in the past and uh, it, it seems like a pretty cool idea. Let's go with the Ice Punch. We outspeed a Sand Slash? Are you kidding? That seems crazy to me. Sand Slash... I feel like Sand Slash is fast, right? Is he not? Because Jack isn't that fast. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is easy. Oh, this is easy. Ice Punch. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Okay. The type combinations in this game are, are, are throwing me off. Over and over again. Not the best. Alright, Aroma Lady, what do you have for me? Weeping Bell. Okay. Go, Jojo! Uh, let's go for Dragon Breath. And I forgot we had the Quick Claw. Cool. If we needed a Quick Claw to outspeed a plant, that's impressive. Astro Acid. What is that? That's the one that suppresses, yes, suppresses the ability, okay. Doesn't really matter, goodbye. So yeah, nearing the level cap here on just about everybody, and then all that will be left to do is kind of, um, I guess do some team building to get ready for Watson, who is the electric type gym leader. Uh, 
yeah, this is, uh... It's coming down to it, ladies and gentlemen. It's just coming down to it. Leech seed, yes. So annoying. So we get the para. Let's go ahead and switch Jojo out, just so we don't have to deal with Leech Seed. It's not going to be a problem, but we can go into Jack here and hit it for four times effective damage anyway, so why not? Acrobatics, god damn it! Ugh, stop! Ugh, good thing I paralyzed you, annoying creature. See, it's, it's, so Jack is really interesting because he's super effective against something that he's weak to. Uh, because <laughs> flying is super effective on him, but ice is super effective on flying. So, it, it really is kind of an interesting, uh, place to be with a Pokemon. No, we're not gonna learn Whirlwind, that's useless. Moa up to 30, awesome. Catching up slowly but surely, he's gonna learn Roost. Yes. Um, Roost over... Uh, Baton Pass for now, why not? You don't have any stat-boosting moves, so Baton Pass is useless. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I've been recording for about 35 minutes now, and uh, I think this is going to be a good place to leave it. As I've been kind of saying, we are kind of close to the level cap here, uh, so I'm going to save the gym battle for the next episode, and I don't want to go too far to the east either, or to the west, rather. Um because I, I, I just feel like it would be wasted since we are so close to that level cap. So I think in the next episode what we're going to do is we are going to uh, deal with Wally here and also make an attempt at Watson. So I'll probably do a little bit of team building in between episodes here. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think this is where we're going to leave it. So uh, I want to thank you guys for dropping by yet again to another episode of the Inclement Emerald Hardcore Nuzlocke. If you guys are enjoying the content so far, make sure you're smashing that like button and uh, let me know how you feel about everything that happens in the episodes in the comments down below. Uh, so answer the question of the day and then drop any other thoughts there too. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.